today I'm broadcasting to you from the wonderful Niagara Falls. Hi and welcome to another Nigel's Chief Vlogs. This is Niagara COVID-19 update and today I'm broadcasting to you from the wonderful Niagara Falls. Yes, the main place to be on a lovely hot day and that's exactly what many people have been doing from across southern Ontario, been coming down to Niagara Falls and checking out this. Uh, just let you know, uh, the new COVID figures are out for today, being the 20th of June, which is the first day of summer. Uh, Ontario has now reported 206 new cases of COVID in the whole of Ontario. Uh, that is the first time it's been above 200 for over a week. And the average five-day average works out to be about 186 new cases per day. Uh, the reason why I've come down to Niagara Falls, of course, is because we're now into phase two of opening up our region. Uh, we were stuck in phase one a bit longer than most people, but we finally got into phase two as of yesterday, uh, one minute past midnight on Friday, and uh, we're now open for business. Um, a lot of places are still not open. The casinos are not open and things like that, but it hasn't stopped all the tourists from coming down. They are everywhere. So this is where we're doing our video from today, right here, Table Rock, Niagara Falls, the one of the most visited places on earth. Uh, this place attracts millions and millions of visitors every year. Before I carry on doing what I'm doing down here in Niagara Falls, uh, I want to take you to where I went first of all this morning. I went to the Niagara Outlet Mall uh, just off Glendale Avenue and uh, this is what I found there. All right, here at the Outlet Mall, it's busy. So I'll have a walk inside and see what it's like in there. Right, there you have it, Niagara Outlet Mall. That is actually one of Niagara's busiest spots. It attracts over 4 million visitors a year. And it's back in business again right now. But a lot of people coming down here from out of town, no masks. There is quite a few wearing masks, but there's plenty of people we could see in the lineup uh, with no masks whatsoever. Not on the face, not in their hands, holding them ready to put on, just, just nothing. COVID cases are on the rise once again throughout the world. A state in Australia has done another shutdown uh, due to the high volume of a sudden spike in uh, Corona uh, COVID-19 related cases. Uh, in China, Beijing has closed all the schools down uh, due to a re-emergence of the COVID virus. And uh, what they're saying is in China is, oh, this is a different strain of COVID-19. This is what they call the European strain, uh, whatever that means. I'll have to look into that a little bit more, uh, but it's not going away. Uh, other countries which are hu seeing huge spikes right now, India, uh, the United States, which is just behind me, uh, Florida, especially the Southern states are having a re-emergence of COVID numbers. And uh, it doesn't seem to be turning anyone. And I think people honestly believe when COVID came around, it was gonna be like, the walking dead and everyone's going to walk around like freaking zombies but it just never materialized so people think it's fake a, a pandemic as some people are calling it when i know people who have had this virus and i know how serious people are taking it if you actually know someone who's had the virus i've known three now um if you know them and you, you'll realize what they've been through. Uh, my wife actually works at the hospital where she's actually dealt with COVID patients as well. And she's seen firsthand of how serious this illness can be, this disease, and how badly it is taking people away from us. Um, you have to take into consideration uh, the virus COVID itself, even though it's been listed as the contribution as the killer, there's other elements out there. Let's say you've got dementia, uh, you have cancer or things like that. It's gonna go after those people. And it's not to say those people are going to die tomorrow if they didn't get COVID. Some of these people could have lived five, ten years longer, but the COVID just took it away from them. They just took their lives a lot quicker. And that's what people don't seem to realize. Uh, you could be a healthy person with just an underlying issue, but as soon as COVID gets you, if you get a moderate case of COVID, the chances are you're going to die. 
All right, Niagara Parks Commissioner Sandy Bellows uh, made an announcement just yesterday encouraging people to use safety precautions when visiting such uh, visiting Niagara Falls, uh, such as physical dis distancing, frequently washing their hands, and if possible, wearing a mask. Well, what we're going to do right now, I'm going to take the camera uh, around this whole area and we'll see how many people are wearing masks. Uh, I've got mine with me, I'll stick that on and uh, off we go. I mean, it is nice to see at this part of uh, Niagara Falls, it's still pretty quiet up here, which is nice. Not that many people have ventured up. All right, just having a nice chat there with the uh, Niagara Parks uh, police officer. And I just asked her a few questions. And apparently the little beach bit down there, you can go there legally but you can't go from the Whirlpool to the Glen. Those parks, those paths are completely closed off. And she's already spotted a few people. She's told me there's a few officers in those other areas as well, trying to get people out, because those are the dangerous areas. The paths are closed, uh, but people are still not adhering to the notices. And they're putting themselves and also the first responders at risk themselves. And like, like I said, just last week alone, they had several rescues down here. One guy lost his life. He slipped and his body's, I don't know if his body's being recovered. It's just, you got to remember, I grew up by the sea. I shouldn't say you should remember that, but I grew up by the sea. I know how rough water can be. Uh, the currents can change so quickly. Uh, but sadly, for city people, our people are not used to the uh, fast flowing rivers or the sea. A calm lake can look very peaceful and you may not under may, may not realize the uh, the undertow of these rivers how powerful it is so it just blows my mind how people can get so careless and put people's lives and their own lives at risk and uh, speaking of uh, closures uh, DQ Falls in St. Catharines uh, Morningstar uh, Mill is completely closed off uh, the mayor of St. Catharines has closed that it was in the media just the other day uh, apparently there's like cars everywhere last weekend it took the emergency services a long time to get to uh, rescuing people and apparently i think they rescued five people so far just this month alone all right the journey continues off to crystal beach now that way As you can see from behind me, uh, Bay Beach is still closed. I believe it opens on Friday, this coming Friday. And it is uh, the annual, sorry, the uh, seasonal pass is free for Fort Erie residents. And I believe it's only open to Fort Erie residents too, currently when it reopens. Um, there is people at the far end of the beach over there, which is a private beach. And I don't believe all those people live in that one or two houses over there. There's quite a lot of people over there. So I'm presuming people are trying to get onto the beach have found a way and gone over there. And it's just like, and that corner too, there's quite a lot of people down that end, so where there's a will, there's a way. Now, 
what did I tell you? Where there's a will, there's a way. All right, remember that sign on the uh, Southern Road you came off the QEW? All beaches closed. I guess not one of these people read that sign and I guess the town of Fort Erie does not want to enforce it anyway. So if that's the case, let them come. If you're not going to enforce a rule that you've put out there, you, you know what, you, you're your own worst enemy, Fort Erie. You really are. Part of me likes to think they're all local, but I don't think they are. Nah, most of them are definitely not local. I saw a lot of local kids over that end of the uh, main park trying to get in. I think a lot of local people are on the beaches over that way. This is definitely out of town as we've all uh, congregated down here. And like I was saying, there's no washrooms open. No, there's no, the public washrooms here are closed. There's nothing. Tim Hortons is still closed. You can't use their washrooms. So where are all these hundreds of people going to piss and shit? Yep, right in there. If you want a fishing boat, good luck trying to launch it today. There's not much room. Mind you, the water's getting a little choppy, so that's one saving grace. Uh, a lot of pleasure craft have come down for the day and uh, taken over most places. Jealous, maybe? Maybe I am a little envious, I don't have one. But it is concerning when people from out of town cannot read the simple signs that say beaches. All Fort Erie beaches are closed and uh, they all come on down. This is actually worse, I think, than Niagara Falls. It really is. Niagara Falls Parks technically is open, they've put portable toilets out, um, the washrooms at the outlet mall were open as well, so that was taken care of, but here, these people have nothing, there's, there's nothing for anyone to do, there's nothing, there's no washrooms, no nothing, so there you go, and uh, no social distancing either, <laughs> just barge right past me, all right. What can you do? All right, so if you liked the video, please make sure you like and subscribe. My name is Nigel Hey, This has been another Nigel's Cheap Vlogs, and we've been doing this for the uh, This Is Niagara uh, COVID-19 update. Thank you for watching.